up I'm back from the motherfucking grave um I haven't done any kind of content in forever um work has consumed me a lot especially with school um but I just decided to do a simple eyeshadow look for beginners to get an idea of what goes where what doesn't go where what works what doesn't work little tips and tricks that you can do um i gave a little tutorial of how to put on some lashes as well um and yeah so if you guys want to see how i got this look please keep on watching don't forget to like subscribe and share so let's get into this so for the palettes i'm gonna be using today um since i do want to do a basic tutorial of what eyeshadows to put where um i don't want to do anything too crazy i don't want to do anything too basic so i think i'm just gonna use my subculture by anastasia palette it's still brand new so like you know it's not all that like whatever so i'm probably gonna go into like these shades and like this and probably like the purple over there i'm not sure i'm just gonna wing it so for the first thing, I would probably talk about brushes. Brushes is probably the most important thing about doing eyeshadow in general. So I like to stick with like fluffy brushes like this. Um, this one is from Morphe. It's the M573. This is just an e.l.f. crease brush. This is a it Cosmetics brush from Ulta. It's the number 12. This one I got from Smith's. It's a Kroger brush. Um, I don't it doesn't have a number or anything. It just says blending eyeshadow. And then I've been really loving these Essence brushes. They're eye blender brush. They don't have a number, but that's all they say. But um, yeah, those are the five brushes I'm gonna be using today. So just really try and aim for like fluffier brushes because those are the best that help you blend out. Not let's say like brushes like. Mm, let me see probably shit. some brushes like this like yeah they're cool and all and they do help but like not the best brush in the world i guess you could say so yeah so these are the five brushes so let's start um i'm gonna be using my anastasia dip brow in medium brown So I just went ahead and applied some of the no filter concealer in the fairy shade on my lids. I'm just going to blend that out with my Morphe Beauty Blender. Um, and take some of my Airstone powder and set my eyelids with that to avoid any creasing. shade called dawn right over here and i'm gonna put that in my crease to give me some warmth so typically i'll take like nudes or like nudes or like browns or like maybe like light pinks and target them towards my crease just so i have basically like an outline to know where the next colors are going to be going so the way I apply this color is I'll go and look like straight to like a mirror or anything on that 
and then I'll just go like right above the line or if not try to like go in the line you know what I mean <clears throat> so yeah and just keep building it up until I get the warmth that I want and I don't want to drag it all the way to the inner corner because I kind of want to like focus it right on the crease so we're just gonna stick to like half of the eye if you know what I mean I'm gonna be using for that is I'm gonna go into this like yellow mustard ish kind of yellow looking thing and I'm just gonna tap it and I'm always going to tap off the excess just so I don't have fallout on my face so what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna apply that right above the brown that I just put down just like that and then I'm gonna blend it out and for that I'm using the number 12 for the eight cosmetic brushes Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and take a, my concealer, my no filter concealer from Colourpop in the shade Fair as well. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut my crease. The reason I've put off how to, like, basically like an eyeshadow basics video is for the fact that my eyes are very hooded and I don't think that the same things that work for me will work for other people so I choose not to you know do videos like this so much but I've always been wanting somebody to like do it because usually these beginner videos aren't even like beginner videos they're more like advanced you know and they go like super fast and they'll really like go into detail what they're talking about so basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take the applicator and I'm going to apply it really close to like my eyelid. So like, let me come closer. So like if I'll look down like this, I'll apply it like right here. And then I'm going to look up and that creates a line basically or like a sketch of how I'm going to be cutting my crease. And then I'll just go ahead and apply it a little closer and do the same. That way I can see the whole thing. And we're just going to be doing a half cut crease today. So basically right where I like made this line is where we're going to stop. And that's what a half cut crease means. So I'm just going to do the same to the other eye as well. So I'm just going to take my Morphe M573 brush and just go ahead and diffuse that brown a little and blend it out with the white right here so it looks really nice. Apply that. The way I apply them is I'll look down into a mirror and kind of see where my eye fits and then lay them down as close as I can. And then I'll take my actual fingers and adjust it to my eye and then for the inner corner I'll either go with my hands or with my tweezers most likely I will go for my tweezers and apply that as close as possible and then fix or push them together to my eye with my fingers just so they don't lift up this one lifted up I'll just go ahead and move them. So that's why I, I like to work while the glue is still kind of wet. That way if something like doesn't settle right, I can still like, you know, move it. Rather than when they're dry, you can't move it anymore. And then you kind of mess up the whole eyeshadow look. Um, and then if I mess up any eyeshadow or anything like that, I'll just go in with the brush again. And just blend it out. 
just to finish off the face first i'm going to moisturize using my pond's lotion um i really like this lotion because it's the dark spot correcting cream i do um get some dark spots but not like a ton of them like but i do have some like um discoloration in some areas and this really helps with that so i'll just go ahead and apply that everywhere around my face before i apply any sort of makeup So for foundation, I'm going to take my Fit Me Matte, found, Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade 228. Um, it's a little bit, like slightly bit darker than my actual skin tone. But I chose this color for the sh fact that I do like brighter under eyes and this kind of evens it out. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that all over my face and diffuse it with my beauty blender. So with applying foundation, it looks like I put a shit ton on, but it really isn't. Like, I don't know. But I like to do only like a little, like, like since it's not a pump, I, I don't really know how to explain it. But just like a little spot. That way I can like cover my whole face and not do more than it should, if you know what I mean. Um, and I like to take my time when blending it out. I try not to aim for my eye area for the fact that I'm going to be putting concealer there. That way it doesn't cause so much um, product buildup. And it doesn't look cakey, I guess. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply my... No, coat, no filter concealer in the shade medium 26 and apply that everywhere to highlight I choose to highlight under my eye my forehead and my nose so now I'm gonna go ahead and contour um, I just bought this concealer called Kai para mi I don't know something like that um, I got it at Target it looked I like the formula, like it's very creamy and stuff, so I was like, this would be good for contouring. So, I'm not sure how dark it is, I haven't used it, um, like I've used it on my mom because she's a lot darker than me and it looked really good on her, so I'm just going to try it out. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply it right here. It doesn't look that dark on me or anything, I guess so, but... I'm probably just gonna let it sit in for a while and if it doesn't get like that dark then I'll just go ahead and apply another one to deepen it up and I'm just gonna take my Girl Techniques brush doesn't have a name but it's a fluffy one So now I'm just going to go ahead and take another beauty blender that I have and set my face. Before I set my face, I like to go back in with my beauty blender and go under my eyes since that's what I set first. Just to blend it out again to take away any creasing that I've done for looking up and stuff. I'll take the beauty blender and like pinch it in there or like, I don't know what, it, I don't know. Um, but just like lay it in there so press it really down in there so that 
that way it can like soak in. contour Since other parts of my face are already dry, I tend to not set those. That way they don't get like that's why like that way my skin doesn't like get super. So I just went ahead and went off of camera to finish the rest of my face. I just applied highlight, lipstick, and didn't apply mascara though. But I will afterwards. Um, might not. I'm not. I don't know. I'm gonna take this all off anyway. So the highlight I used was Master Chrome by Maybelline. Um, I really, 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 really love it, and I would really, really, really recommend it. Um, um, and the lipstick that I am wearing is the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the shade. Let me try this. Club Hopper. That's great. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna list everything down below, but this is the end. Of the video there's the whole tutorial finished look whatever you want to call it um, I really had a lot of fun making this look and like doing the whole tutorial um, I think it's really important for people who are just starting out to do makeup to really like get a feel of what exactly is going on and when I first started I didn't get that so I had a struggle a lot having to figure out what goes where what doesn't go where how to blend stuff out and everything like that so I hope this video helped you guys out a lot. If it didn't, let me know. I will literally do another one, a simpler one if this one was too hard for you guys. I don't know. Whatever you guys want to do, want me to do, you let me know. Um, other than that, this is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, God. Please subscribe, share, and like the video. Um, I will do my best to try and film more. Um, since summer's coming up now, so we'll be out of school. Um, hopefully work doesn't consume me so much so I do get to film more for you guys. Um, please share this or like this or whatever, do whatever you want. Um, I'm not gonna have fun with the editing, but I hope this did help a lot of you guys. I'm still gonna figure out the name of the title, but I will um, try and post consistently um, and probably do even little instagram videos whatever works i don't know you guys let me know um other than that thank you guys so much for watching um and don't forget to give me more ideas for videos and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video bye